Well, hello, friends. If you enjoy ARK now, it's a great time to pick it up because it's free on Steam. Well, at least when I'm making this video and I'm actually not flying, I'm just out here bouncing because, well, why not? Fortunately, I got this nice boots that allows me to not die as I land. So playing on a server is a great way of enjoying ARK together with your friends. And I'm going to show you a very easy way to get your server up and running with a Pink Perfect hosted solution. And as I do that, why not hit that subscribe button and maybe like the video as well. I will be leaving a link in the description for how to get to Pink Perfect and my discount code, which gives you 10% off every single month recurring. So that will save you a couple of dollars every month. If you've never set up service before, don't worry. It's actually really straightforward. Just follow the steps. I will leave the link in the description with my discount code. So go and check that out as well. Uh, you go to the Pink Perfect site and then you choose Genesis 2 and it'll allow you to pay in a pound or USD or Euro, whichever makes sense to you. There are a few standard features such as instant server setup. It's actually really fast, you know, talking about minutes. Global locations, we'll get into that a little bit on the next screen of which locations to have. They do full backups of everything, so losses are going to be a lot less painful because they do backups. Enterprise hardware, of course, a money back guarantee. If you're not happy, you, they will give you a refund. Free web hosting that I actually use myself, it's a nice little bonus. FTP and file browser access. Free branding. I'll go into that as well. I'll save you, you know, some 68 cents something a month. Custom support is really good, it's been really quick. Game panel, also really useful and it makes it really easy to install mods and start and stop and stuff like that. Game switching, if you want to switch to a different server and of course DDoS protection, you can access on the desktop or mobile, I normally just do on the desktop. So we're going to select here from 1352 USD. This will come up and this is of course more than 1352 because it includes a lot of extra RAM which is needed to run Genesis Part 2 which I'll show in just a moment here. Now you can choose an extra discount if you decide to pay quarterly, semi-annually or annually. So for instance, let's say you are sure you're gonna be keeping the server for six months, which is pretty pretty common. Then simply choose a semi-annually, you'll get an extra 10% discount, which will save you some money. And you can, you know, whichever makes sense to you. The actual location, there's a bunch of them. Here's London, here's a few other in Europe, there's a bunch in the US, there's even some Australia, Russia, Chile, and Asia. So select the one that makes sense for you. I'm just gonna do Chicago. You can decide whether you wanna keep it on NVMe or on SSD. I'm just gonna have on SSD because that's normally fast enough. Branding, debranding, you'll see actually is saving you a little bit of money every month. It adds up. Normal support normally works just fine unless you have some really specific needs that you need extra help for. Game slots, depending on how many, many concurrent players you're expecting, select here. If you're having just a normal small community, 10 or 20 will be just fine. Remember, it's concurrent players, not players that might be coming on, on every single day or every single month. CPU priority, I'm going to go normal priority because that's normally fine. And here we come to the extra RAM. Some maps, and Genesis Part 2 is one of them, requires extra RAM in order to run properly. Genesis is, because of how they made the map, it's actually a huge map even though it's split into multiple zones. So it does require additional RAM. So if you're going to do a Genesis map, make sure you select this as well. If you're going to run a basic like the island, then just using the 7 GB default one is fine. There are some like the Crystal Isles, which might require 8, 9, maybe 10 that we can add on on the panel later on. So, you know, if you're going to go a regular map to default, if you're going to do Genesis Part 2, just select this one. And we're going to type in a host name here and a password doesn't really matter. And we can review what we have as well here. We'll see it's about 3176 monthly. So we're going to do continue. And then make sure you review what you order. So we're going to have USA Chicago, the branding by Pink Perfect. We're going to do SSD, normal support. We're going to have this extra RAM because we're going to put on Genesis Part 2. And the game slot's going to be 10, normal priority. This is the monthly. And this way, you want to have a discount code. So you type in Vedui, validate code, and it'll flip over and give you the discount, which is a 10% recurring discount. There are some other discounts out there for Pink Perfect that might be 15% or 20%, etc. They're normally just for the first month. This one is recurring for every single month that you have your server. So it's definitely worthwhile to use that because it'll just save you money. And then you hit checkout and you have to put in 
or a new account, etc. I, of course, I have one because I'm making my videos here, and we, we're going to be paying by credit card or PayPal, etc., and accepting the orders and complete order. So just use whatever payment method you want to have and continue onwards, and it'll redirect you to the gateway to choose to make payment. And once you've submitted this, you have confirmed the order, you'll get an order number and go grab yourself a coffee. What's happening in the background is that the system is hard work setting up your server. They will be emailing you the actual details of your server, the IP, the port and all that. It'll give you the logging information, the credentials. It'll be a few different emails that you have to look out for. So as we're waiting, one of the first emails you'll be getting is the order a completion email that will ping perfect will set out and they're basically saying that the service is now installing for the emails will be sent to you upon its completion it says please do not attempt to log into the game panel prior to getting any emails because that can cause things to go wrong if you start clicking around so just hold on until that comes out and it should have you know how much you paid and your payment method and stuff like that but after a while, you'll get something like this. Well, it tells you that the server has been created. It'll give you the IP and the port, the query port, the slots, and as well as the username, but not the password. The password will be in another email that have, will have the subject of your game panel details. So they will basically split that into two different emails just for security and everything. So you can use that to log in at the gamepanel.pingperfect.com or if you're still here at the order confirmation, you can actually go to services and check my services. You see, I have a bunch of them here because I've set up a bunch of servers actually. I'm gonna click the My Arc Survival Evolved service here. And this is where if you want to upgrade or downgrade, you click here, upgrade and downgrade. Let's say you want to have less RAM. You can basically click that in, it'll take that off the Price, or if you want to have a little bit of extra memory because you didn't select that or you want to play Genesis Arc 2, you can select that as well. If you want to change the priority or the game slot as well, that's where you do that. But I'm going to go back to game service details and hit login to control panel. Make sure you reference the correct emails that you have been sent with all the information and log in. You'll be taken to this screen and this is really where everything happens. We're going to start by stopping it actually because we're going to make some changes to it. And uh, so there's a lot of boxes here and not all of them are going to be useful at the moment. Configuration file, we're going to go into that of how to actually configure your arc. Command line manager might be useful for when you're changing different maps, etc. Mod manager as well. File manager, log viewer, updating. If there is an arc update on Steam, you might have to update your server as well. Steam workshop for the different mods and everything. You can check the different activity and stats. You can do backup and everything. But let's start with going to configuration files. Now it's important that as you can see here, use the config editor or the text editor. Don't use both. We're going to use the configuration editor because it makes it just a little bit easier to access everything. So you can set what your admin password is going to be, your server password, spectator password, message of the day. As you're adding mods, it will actually be entering that as well. And you can make a bunch of changes to how you want your game to actually run. Let's say you want to have cross crosshairs or not. You want to have no HUD. You want to make it really difficult saddle structure limit for instance and so on if you're not really sure what a lot of these do you might want to consider just leaving them but if nothing else you might want to enable pv unless you're going to be ha having your players trying to kill each other but they uh, look through and there's a bunch of information out there about what all of these ones do so i'm not going to go into that because that's going to be a long video by itself but when you're done configuring it we're just going to watch we're going to do a server password of one just you know, why not? We always want good to have a server password so people don't log into it randomly. The secondary config has a bunch of other things in here. And again, if you're not really sure what all these do, then just leave them as the default. Uh, you can play around with a little bit as well. Nothing's going to necessarily break, but it can change your game quite significantly depending on what you actually are, are changing. For instance, if you want to have hair growth multiplayer of 20, of course, it means that you're going to have a lot of hair on your players. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing because you can snip it off and actually use it. If you want to have a whitelist, you put that into the players exclusive join or your admin list. And this is where you want to put in your Steam 64 ID. I'm going to put in myself here. If you don't know what your Steam 64 ID is, then go to a service such as Steam ID Finder, for instance, and look your profile up there. Or you can go in Steam and actually go into your account settings as well to find them out. But let's leave that at that. I think we've made the changes that I'm going to make there. We're going to go into the command line manager as well. 
Now there's a few command lines in here, depending on when you want to do PVP or PVE. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to this and I'm going to select this. And that allows me to change which map I want to have. And in this case, we want to have Genesis part two. We want to have PVE, true. We're going to disable battle eye because I don't really need that and apply it. You'll see it's this one and it says selected. And again, if we go in and double check it, we can see what we're going to have. And it's going to be Genesis part two, etc., etc. We're just going to go back to the main game panel. If you do want to put in some mods, you look at the mod manager, Steam Workshop, etc. You can search through if you need to update the server, which will happen. Then you hit update your server from Steam. That can take some time depending on how out of date your server is. It will basically connect to Steam and it will update the server version it has, verify, validate, and then let you continue. And we see the process has completed. So I have the latest version of Arc, the server, on my server. I would also definitely try to make sure that you back up the world at least a couple times a week. Now, the chance of something going wrong is pretty small. I've, I've only had corruption like once or twice over like literally years. I run three servers, but it's always good to actually make sure you are backing them up. A better way than doing it manually is to go into schedule tasks, which allows you to hit new. We're going to do a scheduled backup world. We're going to do new. And that just allows you to, let's say we're going to do it weekly. We're going to have it every Monday and Thursday. And that's it. And just back up, save a name, and it'll bring it down at that whatever time you have specified on Monday and Thursdays and run a backup, which just saves you a lot of effort from having to do that manually. And if something really does go wrong, you can then hit restore world and basically roll back to whichever version you backed up that you want to use. Super, super useful. If you want to install mods, which is actually definitely I would recommend that you go to Steam Workshop here. The Pink Perfect panel is makes that super, super easy. Now you can search through what all this have. We're going to do Structures Plus. We can find that here as well because that's a really good mod that you might want to include. And now here we have Structures Plus and I'm going to do Install. And the system will proceed to simply download and, and install that without you having to do anything else yourself. And it was nicely installed. We can go back here to our server. And we can see Steam Workshop installed and we'll see we have Structures Plus installed on our Arc server. We're going to go back here again and we're going to start everything up. Now, well, you want to keep in mind a few things that I'm going to exit out of my other server here. Getting onto servers can be a bit of a pain in Arc, as you know, because you can't always search for them because there's so many Arc servers out there that the browser simple might not find it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take note of the query info here. And we're going to go into Steam. And here is my Steam. We're going to go to Steam View Servers. And I got a bunch of other server stuff like that. And we're going to add server here. I'm going to click that in. What this basically it does, it tells Steam to go check here for whatever service is running. And it'll basically make it your favorite because we're going to add this to your favorites. And once you've done that, it's simple. Log into your Arc, join Arc. You want to do a search here, make sure you have all maps and stuff like that. You want to have auto favorite played session and make sure that it's done. And session filter favorites down here because it means that it will show up all the servers that you have favorited that we just did in the server browser. And we'll see Gen 2 here is running and we're going to hit join. And of course, the server password was, I believe, one. I'm going to hit accept here and it says joining server. It should be uh, installing and syncing up structures plus because that's what I have. That's what it says by loading mod. So that can take a little bit of time as well, depending on whether you've been playing structures plus servers before. This is loading mods here and it will be loading us in. And let's see here what we are. We're going to do a bit of random here. We're going to be like, that sounds so good. And we're going to be calling ourselves E. Going to do create new survivor, spawn in, and we are coming onto our server. It says welcome to another Pink Perfect server because that was the message of the day that I had, and I've actually never played Genesis 2. I've been intending to, but I just hasn't done that. But we're getting onto the server here, and I guess they have a. Can I skip this? Maybe I can skip. Well, I, I, I guess I'm on the server, but it's gonna go through this cutscene as well. 
Uh, but after that small little cutscene, well, we're here. Arc 2. Or rather, Arc Genesis Part 2. Not Arc 2. Uh, not out yet. And uh, of course, I am wearing this cool, cool armor. Oh, I can fly. I can fly! So go and enjoy your server. It's really simple to get everything started. I'm sure you're going to be enjoying this with friends. Make sure that your friends are also inputting the same IP in there. And make sure when you are looking at it, you want to have... Go back here. You want to have the query info for adding it to this. Okay, I didn't die there at least. Uh, query info for adding it to your Steam favorites. Because that's the way you go about finding it. I just noticed there's no neck seal or anything. Oh, that seems kind of bad. I mean, everything is sealed except the neck. I mean, even the the arms and the knees and everything, except the neck. It's almost as if my neck is too... Actually, I think my neck is... Oh, no, my neck is too big for it. Oh, God. Oh, that must be painful. Anyway, this is what we have and this is how we fly. So go enjoy and um, keep administrating your server. Really straightforward. And again, I will leave the link to access this and my discount code and everything. So you can use that. So check the description or the first comment in the video. It will save you some money every single month that you're having your server. Good luck, Survivor. Well, hopefully you're surviving. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.